Hey there, I'm Courtney from Log Me In. Today we're going to walk through Rescue's calling card feature. Rescue calling cards are a one-click hotline for your customers. They make connecting with them easy, relieving stress when they need help right away. Once the calling card is installed, customers can initiate a remote session without the need to download anything ever again. So there are two ways to get the calling card to your customers. Deploy it silently through an MSI, or it can be deployed by technicians during the first rescue session with the customer using the technician console. The rescue calling card can be customized in appearance, including text, logos, images, and color schemes. To customize your calling card, open the Admin Center and click the Calling Card tab. From there, scroll through the customization options, including custom imagery and branding, text and text fields, and choice of customer connection method. Now back to the Rescue Technician's console. Let's take a look at the process to deploy a calling card as a technician. Once you're in a session, click on the calling card tab. A few options before you deploy. Select the location where the calling card will install. This might be necessary if the technician only has read-write access to a particular folder, so you can ensure it's installed appropriately. If you want to demo the calling card and immediately launch it, check this box. Check this box to initiate calling card every time the customer's computer is started. Now I'm going to deploy the calling card through Rescue. After the customer acknowledges the prompt, they will get a message that the calling card is being installed. Now it's installed and can run immediately. All right, now on to the fun stuff. Let's take a look at how your customers connect using the calling card. There are two types of calling card connection methods, channel-based and pin entry-based. We'll start with the channel-based card. This version enables customers to start a session directly with no need to call customer support. Instead, the calling card lives on your desktop as a shortcut and you can connect whenever help is needed. Customers provide the required information and then are routed to the appropriate team of technicians. As you can see, this customized calling card can become a part of your company's brand experience. Other advantages include customizing how customers are routed and trackable sessions and reporting. In order for a customer to initiate a session with a channel-based calling card, all they have to do is fill out the necessary fields. In this case, name, email, and problem description. Click Connect. Session will immediately route to one of the technicians associated with the channel and begin. The second connection method is pin entry. This option is designed for phone-based support teams where the customer is already in contact with the technician. Simply provide your customer with the six-digit pin code and the connection process begins. It's that easy. The technician generates the pin, the customer enters that pin, and then the session begins. So it's also possible for the calling card to utilize both connection methods, allowing you full flexibility in your deployment options. Well, I hope you enjoyed this demo and maybe even learned something. Try out the calling card in Rescue today. Learn more about us and what we do at logmeinrescue.com or join our Rescue community at the link below. Thanks.